A lot of times on television we hear about a rape of a famous person's girlfriend. In other words, some man who is really, really wealthy and really, really inebriated or on drugs, or possibly not, just a monster because he's an athlete and they are trained to be that to win, has raped a girl. The sex that they had was not consensual. Or he was so drunk that he thought she said yes, and maybe she did until he was too rough, and therefore it became a rape. I don't know, I'm not smart enough to know what went on in someone's private moment of time. But most men know what a rape of a girl is and they're trained not to do that. That doesn't mean they won't try. But we rarely talk about the rape of a man. And the rape of a man can be handled and done by women. We actually saw that in one movie with Clint Eastwood and a Hispanic woman. I cannot remember the title of it. But it was filthy and dirty, but I was kind of applauding Clint Eastwood to talk about it. That he was captured by some Mexican band and the woman in charge of the whole group raped him. Forced him to have sex with her. He didn't want to. And he wasn't pleased that he still got hard. The reality of men is that we have the right to have our naked bodies safe from anyone who wants to see them. And the truth of American law is you don't have the right to take someone from their clothes to look at them. And openly, you don't have the right to require them to disrobe because you didn't do your job correctly to say, hey, do you have anything else metal on you anywhere so that I can just take it from you and we can hand scan you? So the lie you told yourself, you little bitch lesbian, is that you had the right to look at a man in his humbled, aging body. But the other lie that the religious right told themselves is that they didn't realize that God was transforming something that was really disformed over time, disfigured over time. And the lie that a Muslim told himself was that he had the right to take someone's internal organs and rearrange them. And the lie that the women of the impoverished community told themselves was that they could take some paint and paint a man's hand so it got poxes on them. And the lies that this local community store thought they had the right to do was to give information to their security office so that they could ruin his rights on social media. So the lies that people have been telling themselves about their power in other people's lives that actually can put them in prison for their lies about how they've abused the laws here. And all it takes is one law person, one individual in the criminal justice system, to do the right thing instead of the wrong thing all the time.